Hey guys, so I'm back with another wig review and this time I did not get this wig from Amazon. I actually got this wig from divatress.com. Stay tuned if you're feeling the style and you want to know a little bit more about it. DivaTress.com sent me three wigs to review for you guys, which I'm excited to share with you all. But let's get into this wig. This wig was created by a company called Cloud9. It's a Swiss lace wig and it's 100% premium fiber, which means that the wig is a synthetic wig. But the company declares that you can use a curling iron up from 350 degrees to, I believe, 450 degrees. I did not try to curl this wig with a curling iron, mainly because I don't have one. It broke. But I personally really wouldn't even try to use a curling iron on this, um, this wig. So this wig has two combs in the front and it has tons of parting space. And it also has a comb in the back with two adjustable straps to fit your head. This is day two for this wig out of the bag. Yesterday, I actually got a chance to wear the wig. I had somewhere to go and I had already taken my hair down so I needed something to put on my head. And this one, I remembered, was the highest voted on my Instagram story. But when I opened it, the back of the wig was a bit frizzy. It didn't match the texture of the entire wig itself. I had to go in and like seriously cut the root. That could be because, you know, the company had it sitting in the bag for some time or it could be that the company made it like that. The company prides themselves on the lace and the hairline. It creates an illusion that it's your hair. For me, I would have to say, I'm gonna have to beg to differ. Uh, the, the lace is still kind of light, so it doesn't match my skin tone. I would have to go in and like tint it, and I don't have time for that. I noticed that this wig was extremely long and big. I um, did not expect it to be this big, but hey. I had no choice, I was just I'm about to put this thing on my head. So I put it on my head and I'm like, oh my God, I look like Diana Ross. And I literally just start singing. I start singing and dancing. Like, book me for your next show because I'm selling out the concert with this wig, okay? Selling out. So after I realized I looked like Diana Ross, I had to start cutting the wig. After that, I noticed that it still was a bit too big and too long for my liking. I took it off I woke up this morning and I was like, okay, I have to try to make this fit my head because I don't like how this looks on me. But anyway, I cut the rest of it and this is the look that I have today. This wig I noticed was a little snug, so if you have a large head, you know, you might be able to fit it. I don't know, you'd have to try. Just make sure you check the return policy for divatress.com because I, I don't I don't know that. The pros of this wig, you have tons of parting space and I love the curl pattern of this wig. I think it's so pretty. I just wish it was a bit more tame for me. Oh, there's Caleb. Hey bud. I probably would not wear this wig every single day. I would wear it like on date nights because my husband loves me in this wig. Girls night out or just special occasions. The color of this wig is in color one, but the company also has other colors. Okay, I wanna see if I can try to create another style with this wig, so just stay tuned and stick with me. This wig is a kinky textured wig. It's made to kind of blend in with our natural hair from like 3C to 4C and I'm a 4C. So 
I'm really excited about trying this wig. So if you're interested in this wig, please feel free to go to divatrice.com. They'll be more than happy to ship it out to you. All of the information for this wig will be linked in the description box below. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I post another video. And if you're watching on Instagram TV, follow me. All right, love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.